Hello everyone, I've just finished celebrating Mass today and in the Easter season we hear so much about how Jesus rose from the dead. One of the most beautiful accounts of Jesus rising from the dead is at Emmaus when Jesus appears, walks beside his friends and then sits down and shares a meal with them. And I think the story of Emmaus can help us today as we think about the Mass. Because at times the Mass can be something which we don't really understand. It might even be something that we find beyond us and maybe boring. If we think about what happens during the story of Emmaus, then we might be able to understand Mass a bit better. And the different parts of the Mass that we all take part in. First of all, Mass is a gathering. It's a time when people come together. And in that story from the Gospel of Luke from Emmaus, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side. We gather in the name of Jesus. We gather because we believe in him. And when we come together for Mass, we gather. One of the th first things the disciples do as they walk with Jesus that day is that they tell him everything. They say to Jesus, you must be the only person who does not know these things. They tell him why they're sad. They tell him what's happened to them. When we come together for Mass, one of the first things that we do as we tell the Lord that we're sorry for our sins. That's how we begin our Mass in the penitential rite. We don't hold anything back from God. And Mass, therefore, helps us to praise God, to ask for forgiveness, to ask for his help. How does God respond? Well, the first part of the Mass after the penitential rite is the Liturgy of the Word, when we sit down and listen to the readings from the Bible. We hear from that story from Emmaus, starting with Moses, Jesus explained to them the scriptures that were about himself. The readings that we listen to each time we come to Mass help us to understand who God is, that he loves us and that he has given us his son Jesus and that's why we stand to hear the gospel which is the story of Jesus's life. After we have listened to those readings that have helped us to understand God better we have the offertory where we bring gifts of bread and wine to the altar and then the priest leads us in prayers asking God to change those gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus. And again, Emmaus helps us. Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and handed it to them. This is the centre of our celebration of Mass. This is where everything leads to Jesus becoming present. And again, at Emmaus, the disciples experienced that gift. We hear their eyes were opened and they recognised him. At Mass, Jesus comes to us. He opens our eyes to how much he loves us and we recognise him. That's why Mass is so important. It is the closest way that Jesus comes to us. And what happens at the end of Mass? Well, it happened at Emmaus. As they listened to God's word, as they received Jesus, they set out that instant. They had been filled with the gifts of God and with the body and blood of Jesus, and they set out to share that with others. So, Mass is that gift 
of Jesus coming to us, filling us and sending us out to share his name with others. And that's why we take care that our churches are beautiful, that our altar is ready and that we come ready to listen, to be filled and to go forward. I hope you have a good day.